Welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see that how can we insert some of the objects in Microsoft Excel. Now we already have seen about the hyperlinks and we know that how can we insert hyperlinks over the data in Microsoft Excel. And what is the usage of these hyperlinks? These hyperlinks can be used to take us to that particular location. Now we have already covered that topic in detail in the previous video. So I'm not going to cover it up in detail again, but I'm going to show you a small sample. Suppose I just type here some data or some text like link and then I press control K, which is its shortcut or I can go to insert and then click on hyperlink. Then my data could be linked over here. So for that, I have a path over here. So this is my path and I want to uh, link it with some data. Like I want to insert this video over here and I click on OK. So you can see this video is inserted and if I just click over here, then this video will start playing Hi, over here. Okay. But what is its uh, requirements? The text must be present only then the data would be linked. If there is no text present, then at least a picture must be present for the data to be linked. But what if we do not want such kind of constraints? We just want to link the object and without performing an action, we want to see that object. Then how can we do that? So for that, we have an option of inserting an object in Microsoft Excel. Now, what are these objects? These objects could be anything ranging from Adobe Acrobat documents, Microsoft Word documents, Microsoft PowerPoint presentations to anything else. We have a list of these documents which could be inserted, which of course you do not need to memorize because Microsoft Excel has given us a very easy interface for that purpose. All you got to do is come back to your insert tab and here in the text group, you will find this object option. So if you click on it, this kind of a dialog box will open in front of you. But before that, let's read that what it says. Embedded objects are documents or other files you have inserted into this document. Instead of having separate files, sometimes it's easier to keep them all embedded in a document. So that is uh, the reason why we have an option of inserting objects so that we can uh, have the collection of documents into our single Excel sheet. So let's start with it. Uh, here are two options. You can either create a new object or you can create an object from file. This means you can either create a new object for yourself or you can associate or attach an object that has already been created. So first of all, let's see create from file option. There is this browse button. If you click on it, then you are required to select something. So let me select this is my Adobe uh, Acrobat document, which is simply a PDF and I click on insert. Then there, there are two options link to file or display as icon. If I click on link to file and click on OK, then what happens is you can see sometimes it takes some time and here it is the copy of the document is present as it is into my Excel sheet. If I want to look at that particular document, I do not have to follow the link. I do not need to go to that thing. I do not want any text or any image to be present. All I simply got to do is just open my Excel sheet and I can read this whole document like here. So that is the advantage of um, inserting an object. Now this is pre-existing object. We have another variation of pre-existing object. Let's see that. I again go to object, create from file, go to browse. And this is the same document that I'm inserting. But this time I'm going to check on this display as icon option. Now what will it do that instead of creating a copy of this document, it would display it as an icon with its name like this. And what is its advantage? Suppose you have opened your Excel sheet and you do not want instantaneously to your document to be shown to the viewer, but you want uh, like you are in a presentation, then you want the document to be shown only when you click on it. Then in that case, this thing would work miracles for you. 
you can change its icon as well but uh, since adobe pdf has no alternative icons you cannot choose anything else and you can click on okay and after some time you can see that this has been uh, created in front of you you can just actually click on it and you will see that yes my adobe pdf document has been opened over here in a separate window okay so that was about how you can work with the objects that are already existing in your pc but what if you want to create a new document from scratch then how can you do that so i'm going to actually delete them both right now uh, and for deleting all you got to do is select them and press the delete key simple then again go to object and this time we are going to create a new object so how can you go with that you got to click on this create new tab and in this create new tab you have a list of all these documents that are acceptable in microsoft excel now if you want to uh, go with create from file option and want to check that whether the document that you are trying to associate is valid in microsoft excel or not then you can just go to this create new tab and check it from the object type that whether that object type is present over here or not i associated adobe acrobat document and it was present in my object type so yes i was able to associate it so first of all it's advisable that you got to check with this list now what i'm going to do is create a new document so these are these um, documents that i am able to create a new document with so uh, this time i'm going to create a simple word document okay so i'm going to click on this microsoft word document and i'm just going to click display as icon when i click on that i have got this change icon option and if i click on this you can see these are these different icons available out of which i can choose anything as per my wish so i have chosen this kind of icon actually this one i like it and it asks me for a caption which i'm going to go with as it is and um, i can click on okay and again okay now when i do that what will happen is you can see that it has opened a new word document but it is not actually a independent word document it is a word document that is existing inside the excel sheet how can you check that you can see its caption document in book 2 now book 2 was the name of our microsoft excel workbook you can make any changes to it suppose i have added some text like this this is some random text that i have added and i can uh, just press control s to save it it has been saved it has not asked me the location because it already exists in side my excel sheet and if i go to my excel sheet then you can see it is present as an icon if i just click on it then again it points me to this document if i close it i come back to my excel sheet now since i have displayed it as icon so i am getting this option of displaying it in a separate window my word document is visible in a separate window but what if i go to object and create a new word document again and now i am not checking this display as icon option and i am clicking on okay then what happens is microsoft word opens itself inside microsoft excel you can see this is the excel sheet but the layout that i'm getting this blue layout is of microsoft word and you can see this is a kind of a small text box that i have got which is actually um of microsoft word and i can type anything over here so this time i'm inside microsoft word but as i click on anything that is part of microsoft excel in this sheet i come back to microsoft excel so this platform independency is possible because both of these things are actually products of microsoft office package similarly other microsoft office documents also are possible like this suppose i click on a presentation i want to uh, create a microsoft powerpoint presentation i click on okay and i have not chosen display as icon so what i get is a window of microsoft office presentation now i can make any changes like i type here slide so i'm inside the slide just now if i click on um, anything 
inside Microsoft Excel, then I come back to my Microsoft Excel document and I can adjust its position as well. So that is how you can insert objects in Microsoft Excel. The advantage being that you do not have to insert some kind of text. You do not have to follow the steps to insert a link. You do not have to click on it. You can just view them right now. You can see the document. You can see the Word document. You can see the PowerPoint document as well. So that is all about inserting objects in Microsoft Excel. I hope you all have enjoyed. Thanks for watching.